Hello and welcome back to our video. In this problem, we're asked if f of x is equal to this x squared minus x over x minus 1 and g of x is equal to x, is it true that f is equal to g? So we can simplify f of x and it's going to look a lot like g of x and we can see is f equal to g. What does it actually mean for f to be equal to g? Well, for any x input, they need to have the same output. So let's take f of x equal to x squared minus x over x minus 1. We can factor out an x from the top, which gives us x times x minus 1 over x minus 1. And now we have an x minus 1 over an x minus 1. These can cancel and we get x. So it looks like f of x is equal to x and g of x is equal to x. However, you have to consider what we actually did when we cancel this out. Since we were dividing by x minus 1 and we're no longer dividing by x minus 1, we have to add a caveat here that x minus 1 cannot equal to 0 by the terms of the original function, even though when we simplified it, this doesn't have to be followed anymore. Right? If you plug in a 1 to the original function, you're dividing by 0, which is a big problem. And we lose that here, so we have to add it back in. What this means, if we add 1 to both sides, is that x cannot be equal to 1. So, is it true that f is equal to g? No. If we plug in 1 to g, we have g of 1 is equal to 1. For f, by plugging 1 into the original function after seeing this problem show up, we get f of 1 is equal to 1 squared minus 1 over 1 minus 1, which is 0 over 0. Can I divide by 0? This is undefined or indeterminate. These are not the same, therefore, no, it is not true that f is equal to g.